Hi everyone, this is Sherry. I'm coming on today to share some dies that I received in the mail from Crafting World <clears throat> Designs, my Crafting World Designs. She reached out to me and asked me if I would uh, want to be a guest designer in August and show some different things to to do with her dies and oh my goodness she sent me quite a few you guys and I'm so excited um, first off I want to talk about um, if you guys decide to go over to her channel and buy some of the wonderful dies that she has um, I have a discount code sherry10 is and you can receive 10 percent off your order um, it's um, www.mycraftingworlddesigns.com is where you can find, you know, her, her dies. And oh, she has some great dies, you guys. I can't wait to share what I'm doing. Um, to get started, I'm just going to show you a couple things that I'm working on. And when I'm finished with my projects completely, I will come back and do a final video. But... Um, Again, make sure you use my Crafting World <clears throat> Designs discount code of Sherry10. Okay, so the first die I'm going to show you is this butterfly die. You guys, this makes the cutest bag. I mean, it is just so cute. And you don't have to make it a bag. You can make it a, a purse or anything you want to. You can put a handle on it but let me show you this is something i started working on i am doing a gingerbread theme in my craft room for this winter and i'm kind of doing it to the oh there's just kind of the shabby chic in a way just a little bit but when she sent me this butterfly i was thinking okay how can i incorporate the butterfly into a gingerbread thing and I thought oh how about if I just make a gingerbread butterfly and I thought it turned out so cute you guys this is not finished yet I have some really great ideas this is gonna end up being a stuffed bag and when I'm done it's gonna have all kinds of really cute things coming up out of it and everything and I cannot wait to show you but this is what I've got it started, and it's pretty good size. Um, it's, um, okay, it's about seven inches wide and about five inches tall. So it's a pretty good size. And then it comes with these two pieces here. You do have to cut out two of, two of these because you have to have one on each side here and then one of these for the bottom and these have the little folds in it that that will kind of like emboss into your paper so you'll just fold those in on the line see how I did that here and like I said this is going to be really cute when it's all said and done and um but again this is um, her, I think it's a butterfly bag die, it's called, but it comes in, the pieces to the butterfly are three pieces, one, two, this kind of highlights it so it can be cut out as a rim around too, and this is the middle if you want to use the hearts on your butterfly and the two bag pieces. This all comes together for, and it will make this butterfly and this one here Anna had done um, some a really pretty vellum butterfly with hers and I thought oh I have some it's a thick vellum it's like a cardstock weight almost and so I used that because I figured oh that'll be cute on a bag and it printed out so nicely and so that's that one and oh my goodness you guys I was excited to get you guys look at this these are word dies. Oh my goodness. So there's 13 unique words that, and you don't find these very many places. I can tell you that, you know, it's hard to find words that 
for us crafters that we're working with, but you know, each one we have clay. This one here says clay, and this is what it looks like when it's put together. And again, I'm doing a gingerbread theme craft, so I had to do this here. So there's clay. Then we have custom. So if you're custom making somebody something, you can write that on there. There's the custom one. <clears throat> and oops, the clay stuck to me. Then we got stickers. Okay, these are hard for me to read upside down. Where is my sticker? <laughs> I don't know. It says stickers. There's some bellies. Well, let's just, since I know where this one's at right now, let's just show you the one that says it. And there's the die. It's two pieces. And like I said, this comes 13 in a package. All 13 of these are all together. So there's some bellies. Then we have rosettes oh you know there's so many cute things you can do there's rosettes and stickers and i know that's here but i don't see it maybe i dropped it so but anyway we got stickers and we have paper oh paper and we have buttons we could do like button mix because it's got this extra word so you could do like button mix uh, you could do sequence this one says sequence and this says sequence mix you know you can use that mix with so many of these you know you got your sequence and you have shaker mix oh that would be cute too or a shaker card let's say and you can mark all your things I think this is so much fun and we got flowers oh I love the, that one flowers we got charms and beads you guys so there's 13 of these all together and I just love playing with these words and stuff and I cannot wait to make some things and show you what I am creating with these dies that I got from Anna this month that's the word dies and then she sent me one of her flower dies oh look at this this is just perfect I left these together. For some reason, this one was all by itself. I guess it just liked being by itself. And it comes with these cute little leaves, too. Aren't those adorable, you guys? I just love it. But check out these leaves. I'm going to pick them, pick up. You know, when, when I was cutting this stuff out, and then I put these two things together, like so, I thought, you know what? That kind of resembles like and snowflakes so these, these are going to be like little snowflakes on my on some of my projects to, and stuff I think it's going to be really cute and um, like I said these are just so much fun and there's two different sizes um, one is like about an inch and then not quite an inch and the other one I think it's about a half inch so and then there's the tiny tiny leaves and these are so so much fun especially if you like making the smaller flowers so I really enjoy playing with that and I cannot wait to show you the projects I'm doing um, so and then oh my goodness this is an example that uh, Anna had made this for me in a swap that we did and this is a spool and it opens up like so and I have a great idea what I'm going to do and I can't wait to make them and show you what I'm doing with the spool die but um, again I'm sticking to the to my gingerbread theme and it comes with uh, four dies this one comes with the two doily type things and that's the top and the bottom that you do here and you just wrap this is how you do it you take I took a circle like a two inch circle and just twisted this around here at the bottom I did put the circle and these I just kind of glued down here for reinforcement and it was it went really really well so that's what I'm working on 
this is what I got started here. I did it in the inside, and then I used this bottom here. And But I have one started in it, but like I said, I have a plan on what I'm doing. And this is a couple of the spool, round parts to the spool. You can do it in that one or this one, which I just love them both. And again, this spool die comes in different sizes. This is like a, what is it, a one inch? This is like a half inch, nope, three quarters of an inch in between once you get this, these all folded. And then she just came out with add-ons for the spool die. So these coordinate with this. And look, at she's got the one that'll emboss flowers. I was so excited. And these are, this one is about not quite two inches wide, so you can make this part deeper you guys isn't that fun and then she's got this one here which is like an inch and a quarter so I mean with all the things that you can do and all the different shapes and stuff I, I can't wait to play I have an idea of what I want to do so I will be back as I do work on these different fun things and create some really cute projects. Like I said, I am having fun doing a gingerbread theme. So I hope everybody has a blessed day. And please check out Anna's store. Um, we need to help our small businesses out there. And Anna is a wonderful, wonderful creator. And she is you know like I said she's just starting out she's only been going for a few months so and if you go over there and you use buy, purchase something don't forget to use my code sherry10 and then you can get 10% off your purchase have a blessed day everybody and if there's anything in the world you can be be kind bye bye